Today is 8-13-2021. I figured I'd do an update on the state of the humbug. So everything is working well, knock on wood. I just went for like a 15 mile drive or so and everything was great. I have my three BMSs set up there, one, two, and three. All monitoring the batteries all the time, driven right now off this Raspberry Pi. Next to it I have the relay board which just tells the charger to cut off when the batteries get the full charge. Um, what else? Everything body wise is about the same. The interior is in decent shape. I could really use some cup holders when I'm driving now. It really needs a paint job because the Exterior is getting damaged by tree sap and things like that. Motor wise, everything's the same. Controller, I want to switch this thing out to the Zilla 2K controller I have, which is way overkill for this car, but will be a lot more controllable and tunable and be able to use a better gas pedal mechanism than what I have in there right now. Here's a new decoration I did. Ran into my house the other day getting into the garage and scraped this up added some additional patina that's all fine shit happens otherwise everything is good I've just been refining and refining things mostly to get all the batteries fully charged and balanced at the same time and they are now all within like at least 0.1 volts of each other which is a long way from where they came I plug in my newly hooked up charger, Ooh, which seems to be just about far enough away. You hear a big click in the back there, and the charger starts charging. When it gets to fully charged, it'll cut off right here. We well, see now it did fail to charge. Why? I don't know. I need a display up here to find out. If I unplug it again, plug it back in. It's usually because this relay here isn't really supposed to be a relay. It's supposed to be an opto isolator or something with much less resistance than a relay. So this thing thinks it's open. Pull that out. Do it again. I rebooted the Pi and now you see these are flashing the Ziva BMSs are flashing quickly, which means they have no commu can communication. Let's see, they're both still it's very bright out here, but it's still flashing. When it goes on solid, like that, and I heard the relay click, I know that the Pi is booted up and is now giving the can signals to the BMSs. Plug it in again. Hear the big click. It's on. This is red. Don't suspect that'll go. Red means open loop, I think. No, it's good. Flashing red is okay. So when I go and check the VNC screen of the Raspberry Pi, I see all my batteries. The lowest went down to 3.5 and the highest is at 3.66, so that's pretty good. Um, they are currently charging. The red means that's the highest, the blue means that's the lowest battery, so that's looking pretty good. Otherwise, on the Pi, super janky, I can Pull up a new terminal. So what I was trying to demonstrate is getting to the charger, which is right here. I can see what the charger is doing. I can reconfigure it. It's only set to do three amps of charging right now. And I want it to go full speed. I was doing lower speeds of charging when the batteries are almost full. When they're almost empty, I should do uh, 
max C15 and show. Now I can see it's charging at 15 amps. I can go back to this window. And you see, because it's actively charging, the voltage is changing a lot, so the red lines and blue lines jump all over the place. So it's good. Charging at full speed, it should take about two hours to recharge from my half-hour drive. 